All right, so now let's talk about strings. What the hell is a string? So a string is a, a group of characters within two quotes, okay? Where you can use that to write your sentences, write your variables, have a word, have a letter, have a character, have a unit code inside of it. So anything that is gonna be text or a different type of like, uh, unit codes, you're going to do it within a string. I mean, we've already done this. So to see it again, and just to explain it a little bit better, let's say you want to create a variable and you say uh, sentence. Okay, you say sentence equals to the moment you do that, double quotes, that's a string. Okay, so whatever's inside of it, that's what's part of that string. Okay, so you could come here and say, hi, my name is Joe, okay? And then now I can come here and say, put sentence, okay? Come here to our code, say crystal playground, and now it says, hi, my name is Joe. Now you can also escape certain things inside of a uh, sentence, right? Inside of a string. So for example, we have here in the documentation from Crystal Lang, you can see that, let's say, for example, you wanted to do a double quote inside of a string. To do this, you have to do in backslash, and then you have to put in the string. So it basically escapes it. It basically tells the computer, like, hey, whenever he puts in another quote here, he's not actually ending the string here. He just wants to put in another double quote inside of the string. So to do this, you have to go and do like this, say backslash and automatically that already got escaped. Okay. So if we come here, run this, see now it says, hi, my name is, and you got the double quotes in there. Okay. So I could come here to this name is backslash like that and then say backslash like that and put in the quotes now my sentence can have hi my name is joe in double quotes okay without ending the string also if you wanted to do something like a new line so currently right now this thing is being printed in one single line let's say for example if i wanted this to show up in a new line i will say slash n and then everything that comes after that is going to show up in a new line. So come back here, do hi, my name is Joe. And as you can see, there's two lines going right here, going right here. Okay. I would definitely recommend for you guys to check out the documentation and look for the different types of escape sequences that you can use within a string. Now let's talk about interpolation. Interpolation is when you're able to run some type of code within a string. So for example, let's say I wanted to have my name as a variable. So I come here and say name equals to Joe, right? Save that. Now, if I want to put it inside of the string, how would I do this? Very simple. I will come here and say, uh, hashtag and then curly brackets, and then I put in name, okay? And now what that's going to do is, is going to take the variable of name, which is equal to Joe, is going to put it here, and it's going to display what's inside of that variable. So Joe is what's gonna show up. So let's come here, click there, and as you see, it says, hi, my name is Joe, and I can come here and change this to, Jania, okay, and then now it will say, Hi, my name is Jania. Okay, now I can also come here and do something like this and say, Um, let's say your line, okay, and I say, I'm 28 years old, okay, okay, so. Currently, we're going to have like this. Hi, my name is Jania. I'm tw 28 
Okay, put in years old. Okay, now next thing that we want to do is over here, we're going to do a little something like this. We're going to come in and use interpolation, but instead of putting in a variable, we're going to say a number that is equal to 28. So we're going to say 14 times 2. Okay, so the total of that is going to be 28, and it's going to say 28. Okay, so as you can see, it says, hi, my name is Jania. I'm 28 years old. All right. So as you can see, with interpolation, you can run code inside of your strings and basically show the return value of that code that you put it in. Okay, so I'm going to see you guys in the next video. We're going to also talk about uh, some other things like arrays, hash, range, tuples, procs. So we still got a lot more to go. So I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Peace.